I really, really hate slow, slow computers, so I think it's about time for an upgrade. And in this video, I'm going to be going through how to upgrade the RAM on the iMac. Now, if you watch my unboxing video, you will notice that I was very keen on mentioning about upgrading to 8GB of RAM rather than sticking with the baseline 4. And in this video, I finally get to do it. So as you can see we're in this kind of awkward situation. Now I do recommend sitting your iMac on a soft piece of cloth, I'm just using a towel and as you can see it's face down so I can get access. Now it's also wise that you have a nice range of tools. I'm just going to pick up my screwdriver of choice and start unscrewing the tray. So let's get to it. I'm also going to be showing you how to remove RAM just for the sake of the video in case you did want to remove a certain amount of RAM and swap it out with and there's all of them and we'll just remove that away so as you can see we've got a few tabs I'm just going to pull them out and now I'm going to show you to start off how to remove current RAM now this I was very wary about, but you basically grab the tab, pull your hardest and the RAM pops out, but we don't want to do that, we want to add RAM. At the minute it has 4 gig. I want to put in 8, so what I'm going to do, I have my crucial RAM here, I'm just going to fit this, so let's take it out the packaging. Now I highly recommend not to touch the actual chip on the RAM itself. You don't want to go damaging your new investment. So here's my 4GB new chip from Crucial and I'm going to stick it right there. I'm just going to bed that in. Now they say it requires a lot of pressure and I can see what they mean by that. No, I can't, I can't even see the RAM because the camera's in the way and I'm sorry if my... And the RAM is now officially in. What was the problem? Well, that's what I was asking myself and it turns out I was putting the RAM in the wrong way and I call myself a tech reviewer but then again I'm going to just blame that on the fact that I can't see the RAM because of the position so I'm just going to put the tabs back round there's one tab and there's another and now I'm gonna screw my iMac bottom back together fail Please do remind me next time I do a RAM upgrade that I'm going to need to pick a better position. I fail. And yes, as you can see, 8 gigabytes of RAM. So my installation was a success. Please do excuse my poor RAM installation skills. It was really early in the morning. It still is. I'm still half asleep while filming this video. I need an excuse, so please forgive me. I'm Darren Dunn from The World Attack, and I'll see you in the next video.